So hi and welcome back and it's been a crazy crazy month for me. I've not really done much in the way of film photography because my Monday was 3am, Tuesday 3am, Wednesday 3am, Thursday 5am and then I'd do a late night on uh, the Friday and when I get to the weekend I just can't really be bothered to do anything. So it's been a crazy month. I'm going to start getting back into normal with the film photography and I know the title of this is, is about developing films but I'll, I'll come to that in a second and um, just so some of you know that above my camera is where my, my microphone is is kind of attached um, here. You can't see it but I had a problem with it not going in onto the top of the camera. Uh, this particular camera I've got is actually a video camera, it's not a still camera and I use it for when I'm, I'm doing things like conferences and I had, it's actually a film thing that fixed the problem. Do you remember back in the day we used to have those uh, little hot shoe things that used to sit on top of cameras that didn't have their own flash trigger? That's what I put in and all I've done is I put that on top where the cold shoe is and then put the receiver of the microphone on there so a film uh, so, uh, so a film solution to a modern problem, which is really, really good. Anyway, just really wanted to go do this really quickly, could get something out so you know I'm still here and I'm still doing film photography. Um, I was up in Nottingham about three weeks ago. Um, I had to go and see an event there and I photographed some color, some of the uh, 50D. Uh, or the you know the the Kodak Vision 350 or is it 50D yeah so I've got that to develop I've got a slide film I think uh, is this it no it's not the one I've got a slide film somewhere that needs developing and I'm going to try and get it developed this week if I can and then um, do a talk about that and that was when I was using it with a Olympus Trip it's an expired film with Olympus Trip so it's kind of going to be like all over the place with the quality of the shots and then I had this thought. You know, because obviously I don't really, I make probably a few pounds a week doing these videos and I just thought, I had a thought and I just want to put it, run it past you. What if I could develop your neg your black and white negatives and scan them? Now, I thought about it and thought, can I do it? I probably can. I could probably do it for a few people. And if you're interested in that, if that's something that interests you, me doing that for you, then um, if you got, I think it's my about page, there's a link there and it shows you what uh, an email address where you can get hold of me. So that was the idea anyway. So if you're interested, let me know and I'll think about whether I can do it or not. I tend to process my films now in ID11 or Rodenol. So they're the two developers I, I generally use. So um, yeah, we could, we could have a talk anyway. Sorry there's nothing more than that. I've got stuff coming, as I say, I've done I've got through half a roll of Foma pan as well, which I intend to finish. And you know how it is when you do a film and then you leave it and you can't remember what you got on the rest of it. That's what's happened. I don't know what I can't remember what I took on this film already. Anyway, I hope you don't mind this kind of being a little update video. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.